Tonight, I'm going to talk about the dangerous game that's being played by two particular nasty groups who feed off one another. I'm speaking about the radical left and the alt-right. I have one question. Are you protesting the part where I'm condemning the Nazis? Like, you hear what I'm doing right now. Do you have ears? I'm literally condemning Nazis, and you're telling me to leave. Do you hear yourselves? I discuss the radical left on campus all the time. That's because campuses are dominated by the censorious and nasty radical left. On the other hand, I actually did question whether I wanted to talk about the alt-right tonight. One reason is because what the alt-right wants more than anything else in the world is attention. Some of them call themselves the new right and swear they despise the founders of the alt-right. Some call themselves America first, trying to hijack President Trump's slogan to give themselves the patina of credibility. More on that in a second. Some name their movements after mammals, some after amphibians. It gets confusing. It's meant to be. You see, keeping people confused is actually one of their chief tactics because it gives them room to ridicule anybody who doesn't understand all of their esoteric labels and jokes and beliefs. And what you'll see the alt-right do is adopt the beliefs of some of these other movements in order to find cover for their actual belief system, which really is quite vile. In fact, it seems like some members of the alt-right, they have a pretty large problem with Jews generally. They'll tweet things like, quote, so-called Jewish values tend to favor liberal and internationalist positions like abortion, foreign intervention, multiculturalism, homosexuality, and mass immigration. Some of you will say that you're hurting your daily existence by Jews. You suggested that a religious Catholic who writes for my website, a guy named Matt Walsh, is a, quote, Shabbos Goy race trader who is throwing his own people under the bus and hates white people. In fact, Walsh is, according to you, an F word, that would be for gay people, P word, as in female genitalia, race trader who works for the Jews. What prompted that outburst, by the way, on the part of this alt-right lead influencer? The fact that my friend, Matt Walsh, said that the El Paso racist shooter should be publicly executed in brutal fashion. One particular lead influencer, when asked if having sex with a dog is the same thing as having sex with a black man, said, quote, they would both be degenerate. Really, really classy people. So, when you believe all these garbage things, and you've said all these garbage things, and you are, in fact, a garbage human being, when your views are obviously white supremacist garbage, what do you do? You take four steps in order to legitimize yourself. Step number one, the Trump gambit. First, you declare your allegiance to President Trump and declare that you're not really alt-right, even though you obviously are. You show up to lectures wearing a MAGA hat in order to get the media to cover it and in order to demonstrate that you are truly a representative of the 63 million Trump voters. You call yourself America first, hijacking Trump's slogan. What you actually mean is white Americans first. The media eat it up because the media love nothing better than, of course, lumping Trump in with particularly this group. Okay, step two, then you declare yourself the true conservatives, the true heirs to conservatism. And then we have step three, which is to troll, right? You just show up at places like this and you say dumb things, then you tell all your friends how cool you are, and you tell edgy jokes about the Holocaust and cookies because, I mean, what, what could be funnier than that, obviously? I mean, that's just good stuff. And then finally, and this is the big one, you count on the left to help you out. Okay, the left will literally call anybody on the right alt-right, even if we say vocally and in no uncertain terms that the alt-right is pure, unbridled, vile garbage. They'll issue a flyer that literally depicts me as a cockroach on a bottle of bug spray with the label Ben Be Gone. I do love that one, I will say. That was pretty great. <laughs> the media will suggest that President Trump is in league with the alt-right. Even at this late date, they'll neglect the fact that Trump has repeatedly condemned white supremacism, that he has purged his administration of people who were remotely friendly with the alt-right. But the left won't have the conversation. The alt-right really doesn't want to either. They prefer memeing and trolling and all the rest. So here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Anyone on the right or left who wants to have an actual conversation about tough issues, that isn't the bumper sticker, but is also not willing to pretend that ugly bigotry is decency or that identity politics reflects truth or that trollish memeing is a substitute for an actual worldview. Let's have the conversation. Thanks so much. Happy to take your questions.